This is day 45 in the Gaza-Israel war and I'm Yair Pinto reporting to you from Israel. The fighting in the Gaza Strip continues and in the past 24 hours the IDF uncovered more than 30 underground terror tunnels during complex operations and using advanced technology. Most of these tunnels were sealed by the IDF forces in order to neutralize the terrorists within and to prevent them from using them again. Only two streets away from the Shifa Medical Center, the IDF uncovered a huge underground tunnel that spread out some 40 meters and was dug more than 20 meters below the surface of the street. This tunnel had multiple entry points and the IDF left them open in order to monitor and understand where the terrorists within were operating in order to gain more intel on how to neutralize the threat of the tunnels in the Gaza Strip. In another incident, in the Sheikh Hadouan neighborhood in the Gaza Strip, IDF forces uncovered a terror cell that included seven terrorists that were wearing an explosive vests and attempted to carry out a suicide attack against the forces of the IDF. In the middle of this attack, one of the terrorists suddenly exploded and killed half of his squad mates. An IDF chopper went to the sky and was able to target and neutralize the remaining terrorists, while a special unit dismantled the bombs on the bodies of Hamas's terrorists. In the El Asma neighborhood in the Gaza Strip, IDF forces together with tank units were able to identify a Hamas cell that was disguising itself as women who attempted to evacuate the Gaza Strip towards the Rafah border crossing with Egypt. IDF units quickly carried out an attack against these terrorists and were able to neutralize the majority of the cell while capturing two of its leaders that were taken for questioning and hopefully will share some light on the Hamas infrastructure on the south of the Gaza Strip and maybe the whereabouts of the civilian hostages that are kept somewhere in Gaza. The IDF is carrying massive amounts of bombardments, destroying multiple Hamas positions, terrorists and weapons manufacturing factories in the Gaza Strip. Hamas has been well prepared for this attack, but the IDF is destroying its infrastructure daily. The IDF is showing no mercy against these terrorists that carried out the massacre attacks against our civilians on the 7th of October. And Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stated that all the members of Hamas are as good as dead and the IDF will not show mercy towards these terrorists. In the northern arena, the IDF conducted a successful aerial strike that targeted a suspected weapons convoy that was delivering ammunition from Iran to Hezbollah in Lebanon. The fighting continues day and night also in the West Bank area of Judea and Samaria and IDF units are conducted daily operations to uncover and capture Hamas terrorists before they carry out their evil attacks against Israeli civilians in Jerusalem and other cities in the center of Israel. This battle is hard and Israel is fighting it on multiple fronts. We need your help in sharing the truth, sharing what really is happening in Israel, that Israel was attacked on the 7th of October, that Israel is trying to release 238 hostages from Hamas and that the evil Hamas is trying to carry out more and more terror attacks against Israeli civilians. I want this war to be over. I want to go back to my family. But we must return the security to Israel's border. And we need your help by sharing the truth and by praying for the peace of Israel.